Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to Yield Weekly Home Fragrance Roundup, the video that I uh, like to do most Saturdays where I chat about all things candles, wax melts, candle crocks, candle lamps. Um, yeah, and I do all of it with my trusty assistant, Alf, who is in my lap per usual. Say hi, Alf. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Um, Alf likes to join me for these videos because he is a little bit of a lazy bum. And when he sees that there's an opportunity to get in my lap and have a nap while I am talking to myself in the living room of our house, he, oh, there he goes. Yep, he's, you're going to hear some snoring. Please enjoy the free pug ASMR. Um, anyway, so Alf and I are going to discuss all these things with you guys today. But before we do, the usual disclaimer, description box down below, huge plethora of information down there. Um, where to buy the things I'm talking about discount codes if I have any, um, what the sales are this coming weekend from the candle companies that I tend to frequent the most. Um, yeah, all that fun stuff. Uh, candle Crock 101, Candle Lamp 101. Uh, I am going to reference both Crocs and Lamps. If you are newer to like the home fragrance world and you're just kind of learning, those videos might be very useful for you just because they're specifically those two like accessories have helped me a lot in not only getting through a lot of my backup candle stash much faster but it also helps me with candles that don't behave when they are burning whether the candles are sooty whether they are whether the flames are super low so that dreaded puny wick syndrome um yeah it just kind of it fixes candles that maybe probably should be returned, but you don't feel like doing it, but you still want to get some life out of these candles. Those accessories are great to have on hand for moments like that. I am someone who, even when I buy things from Bath and Body Works and they suck, I'm just like, ugh. I can't, I can't really deal with going back in the store to return these things, especially if it's not on like my normal route of things to do. At this point, I'm not really going out of my way, <laughs> out of my way to do anything extra in life. I feel like I just have to do so much every day with work and, you know, parenting and life and still trying to exercise and stay hydrated. Like it's, it's a lot of freaking work, right, Alf? Alf helps me through this stuff most days but yeah I'm just I'm a little bit lazy when it comes to returning things so yeah but I but I do like to I do like to get my money's worth out of products so anyway check out those videos if you are newer to the home fragrance community they might be very helpful for you and um, without further ado let us get into what's currently burning in the house behind me here oh, isn't it cute it is uh, the Kringle Fantasy Collection Fairies Floss, which I've already done an in-depth review of. In fact, I have, um, well, tomorrow you will see my review. No, that will have already gone up. Yeah, because it went up on Thursday, I think. So um, tomorrow you're going to see some Homeworks reviews. <laughs> but all of my reviews post-burn, um, and most of them have been to, if not the exact halfway point, like definitely very close to the halfway point of all of the fantasy collection candles. So mermaid scales, um, unicorn poop, and then this beauty right here, fairy's floss, which I'm currently burning. All those videos are up. You can find them on my channel. Um, in the family room, what's going in the family room? Oh, Farm Sand Cherry from Homeworks. And this is the new Farm Sand Cherry that was re-released this year. It's not as good as the original. Um, I feel like it's just a little bit watered down. But that being said, I'm glad to have it back. I think that Harry makes really great fruit scents um, and gourmand. This is the reason why I fell in love with Homeworks in the first place is that Harry does, I think, tend to favor gourmands and fruity scents more than even like florals. I don't know, at least that's the vibe that I get. Um, and he puts out great gourmands. And um, in terms of like the fruity summer scents, anything from the farm stand collection, I've absolutely adored. My favorites are definitely the farm stand peach, the farm stand strawberry, and the farm stand blueberry. There's also apples, there's a farm stand lemonade, there's a farm stand cherry, there, there's a whole, 
whole farm stand collection. Most of those are available over at QVC, so I will link the farm stand collection that's still available at this point. Um, but yeah, uh, love me some farm stand cherry. I do wish it was as impactful or powerful as the original, but usually the repackages that have come around haven't had quite the oomph behind them that the original fragrances had. So I think the formulas have been changed ever so slightly. Um, not surprised by that because that I, a lot has changed with homework since the beginning. Um, I am not someone who will deny that, but I'm also not someone who's just gonna like rail against a brand um, because things aren't going well for them. Um, I feel bad, uh, but I also feel like they know what's going on and if they want to, they will make changes. And um, you know, if they don't, then things will keep going the way that they do and we'll see how that <laughs> turns out in the long run, I guess. But I still have faith. Um, if you don't, that's totally fine. I, I totally respect all the people who are um, pulling back from homeworks for the time being completely respect that and I understand that and you know that but if that's the smart thing for you to do then that's you should do that um, I still purchase the candles I will continue to review them for you guys and um, yeah I'm always honest with those reviews so if I see major improvements you guys will hear it for sure but um, yeah so anyway two more reviews coming up tomorrow and this wraps up I'm currently burning right that's that was the path that I started down and somewhere how we ended up somewhere else but anyway um what is going in my candle crocs right now okay so I will sometimes put a brand new candle in a crock a candle that burns just fine on its own and I did that this week with two candles from Kringle um I get 24 7 fragrance out of any candle that I put into a crock because I don't turn my crocks off at night um, the lamps that I have are on a timer so those usually go for four hour increments and then they're turned off um, by the timer but I don't have a timer for my crocks now could I put them on a timer absolutely we have timers that we use for like Christmas trees and lamps and all sorts of stuff in our house so I could just very easily plug one of those into a crock but I don't know I like I like the constant fragrance from the Crocs it's the one thing in my house that goes 24 7 um, candles are blown out every evening um, and lamps like I said are on the timer and my um, Scentsy warmers I, I shut those off at night just I, I do the rounds so anyway uh, in the laundry room croc is uh, Kringle juicy strawberry from the reserve collection that candle burns incredibly well it does not need to be put into a crock but that's what I wanted to do with this one and so far it's been in there for just about a week still a powerhouse so I expect to get at least like another four days easily four days out of that full-sized candle um and that'll be great and then I will be left with unscented wax that's what happens when you melt a candle either via the lamp or the crock it causes the fragrance oils to be released um, with the heat source but you are not losing the wax like the wax only dissipates when you have a flame right there's no flame with a crock or a lamp so you're just left with wax afterwards it's unscented but you you can do things with that wax i actually have a video i think it's going to be linked down below in the description box as well some ideas uh of what you can do with your leftover wax all right in our master bedroom i decided to put a three wick of the kringle happy birthday fragrance which is actually just a three wick repackage of vanilla cone from kringle delicious definitely recommend and then I am finishing up my Crimson and Clover, which I had burned to the halfway point. It's also from the Kringle Reserve Collection. I finished that um, in the crock in my upstairs filming room. So that's what's currently going in the crocks underneath my lamps. I've only been using my lamp in my dining room. And uh, this week I have been melting this. Now, it did start out with some cute little like Fruit Loops, wax Fruit Loops things on the top here. This is a Candier, uh, Candier, Candier, Candier fragrance. Uh, this is a brand I found at Ulta. This one is called uh, Your Best Friend Be Like Serious Case of the Munchies. 
Um, these are gift candles. These are not the types of candles that I think most of you would actually choose to purchase for yourself. They're gift candles because they're kind of fun. They're a little kitschy. They have cute little sayings on them. Um, yeah, they're just really fun, right? A lot of them have like sprinkles in them or other like, I don't know, wax things. Like, like I said, this one looked like it had some Fruit Loops on the top. They were made out of wax. Um, this top layer basically smells like nothing. This is one of those typical, you know what this actually reminds me of is the, let's take it back a few years. What are we going back to 20... 16 17 somewhere around there when sonoma candles at kohl's had the key lime pie this seems very reminiscent of that key lime pie fragrance um but it smells almost like a lemony fruit loops type scent from what i can still smell on this top layer of wax i feel like that's what i'm getting now that when this melts uh underneath a lamp it melts layer by layer so you're going to melt each layer until you can no longer smell the wax then you're going to pour that wax off not down your toilet or your sink it's it's the internet i feel like i have to say it i know most you are not dumb people but there are people that still do dumb things in the world and i would hate for someone to I don't know misconstrue what I'm saying so pour this in some other like maybe you have like a used candle container that's empty you burned all the wax you can just pour this wax in there and then you're gonna uh, basically melt that second layer of wax right and you're gonna do that until you get to the bottom and you have your last layer of wax you're going to just melt that until the scent is gone and then you're done with your candle so that's how you utilize a lamp what are you barking at do you hear children? Oh yes, children are having fun. We don't like that, do we? <laughs> he gets real upset with the neighbor kids that are across the way here because they have like a little kiddie pool in their front yard and they're always splashing around and having fun. And um, yeah, normally Penny is the fun police in our house, but this summer Alf has been real upset with these children. <laughs> He's getting to his crotchety old man stage rather quickly he just turned two this year so i feel like we shouldn't be here quite yet but i don't know mr kong was my grumpy old man and i do love me i love me a grumpy pug so i think he's well on his way all right things that i was burning this week uh trader joe's salted caramel and pistachio candle i reviewed this this would have gone up on thursday as well Ugh. Okay, so it's very, very similar to the, to the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 fragrance, otherwise known as the Boom Boom Cream scent. Um, this is not spot on. It's very close. This is a little bit heavier on the like vanilla and coconut part of that fragrance. Um, I do get a little bit of like a salted caramel note, a little bit of like a nuttiness, which I'm guessing could be that pistachio. But that being said, this is a one wick candle. It's 5.7 ounces. It's a one wick. This is going to be great in a bathroom setting or a smaller bedroom. This is not going to be a house filler, but I mean, hopefully you don't think that when you see a candle like this. Um, yeah, for someone like my sister. So I have a sister-in-law, Gretchen. I feel like she likes fragrance, but she doesn't like fragrance the way that I do. Like she buys these Trader Joe candles as just like a whiff of something in the air for her home. Whereas I am a, when you walk into my house, I want the fragrance to literally just like smack you in the face, right? Like you walk in to my house and you know there's a candle, there's a wax melt. Well, there's usually several candles there's wax melts going all around um yeah two totally different vibes but i think we both enjoy the home fragrance anyway she loves these candles for her home she also lives in like a 1950s style home much smaller i think her home is around like 850 square feet um so a candle like this does much better in my sister-in-law's house than it does in mine we have really high ceilings in here this is that typical like early 2000s like super open concept style home and so i need candles with just a little bit more oomph but that being said i love the scent she's delicious all right we did burn just a little bit of jelly donut i feel like i am 
I am nursing my jelly donut. Um, I started this candle a while ago. I will usually light this one like one or two mornings out of the week and um, then I blow it out and I light something else. I actually have a few backups of this but it has been out of stock. It has popped in and out a couple times in terms of stock. Um, yeah. I did talk about, I think it was in my video of unicorn poop about an issue with these reserve candles and some friction with the lids and people having issues with their candles breaking, like the glass breaking. Um, I addressed that in that video. I read a little blurb that Mick put out. So if you're curious about that, definitely watch that video. But essentially, if you ever have any problems with any of your Kringle candles, contact customer service. They will, they'll make it right. So I love that about Kringle. They have a great customer service team. But anyway, jelly donut, I love it. I just, I want them to actually just make a lot more of this. So that I can buy more. I hate having to ration this. Even with my like backups, I'm still rationing it and I freaking hate that. I don't like rationing anything. All right, unicorn poop while we have it. Here she is. Oh yeah, I'm officially at the halfway point. I did order four of these. Um, so it's still available. <laughs> Turns out I didn't need to order in bulk like right out the gate, but I was so afraid of this collection selling out. I'm glad it's still available. So if you want this, it's basically a dupe of Aqualina's pink sugar. Oh, it's so good. I wore pink sugar in the early 2000s. That scent came out in 2004 from Aqualina. And like, I remember buying it the year that it was released. And I wore that a lot. Got a lot of compliments on it. Um, it's a great scent. It's pretty cloying. <laughs> Not in this format. It's actually uh, very enjoyable in this candle because it doesn't smack you in the face the way that the original perfume does. That being said, I, I personally wish this was just a little bit stronger than it is, but I appreciate it for what it is. By the way, I'm sorry. I really hope I don't have food in my mouth. Right before coming in here to film, I was eating some lunch. I will put the recipe for this lemon spaghetti in the description box down below as well. Uh, if you need like a quick lunch thing for this weekend, you should make this. It's from, what's her name? Laura, I don't know. She's got a YouTube channel. Vitaly, I think it is. I don't know. I don't watch her videos, but my friend Susan told me about this particular recipe a couple of years ago, and it's so good. It's just lemon spaghetti with some herbs in it. Oh, so good. Try it. Anyway, you might end up with some herbs in your teeth, but that's okay. All right, mermaid scales. I was burning this this week as well. Mm, I love mermaid scales. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do. I, in fact, I didn't order any of these. This one was sent to me in PR. Love it. We'll be ordering more, thankfully, because they're not sold out. So um, yeah, this is a great scent. It's The review's already up. <sighs> Fiji. So this is the candle that I have had in my downstairs uh, guest bathroom. And I have burned this a couple times this week. I really love this scent, but it is one of those that is just a little bit on the lighter end of the spectrum. It does better in bathrooms for me than it does in other areas of the house. That being said, it's a fabulous scent and um, I, I enjoy it. In fact, this is my second one. Uh, I reviewed it, what was it, last summer for the first time and then bought another one for this summer. So that's good stuff. Where am I going? Okay, we're going here. All right, let's do some homeworks candles. Now, I received both of these in PR recently, so I did not pay for these two. I actually have not purchased anything from homeworks in a little while. I'm um, sorry, I have to readjust because my foot's falling asleep. Alf is a little bit of a beefcake, Ooh, and he makes mama's feet just... I sit cross-legged, and that's a bad idea <laughs> with this guy. Um, Anyway, I have not purchased a whole lot from Homeworks uh, for the last couple of months because I'm trying to work through the backup stash of my summer candles that I had left over from last year this summer. My goal is to not have more, uh, I, this is crazy, I don't know if I can do it, but to not have more than 10 to 15 backups of um, any like candles from any given brand. So the most that I want to have in terms of backups from Kringle would be 10 to 15 candles. 
the most backups that I would want at any given time, at least at this point in my life, because I'm going through one of those like, oh, I feel overwhelmed by clutter stages. Um, the most from homeworks that I'd like to have on hand is 10 to 15. That includes spring, summer, fall, and holiday candles. So that's like really small compared to the way that I have been living. Um, but I think it's a good goal for me, and believe me, it's killing me. There's been a lot of really great sales from Homeworks. They are clearancing out a lot of stuff from previous seasons at this point. They even have some really great pricing on summer stuff right now, and you can combine my discount code in addition to the sales that they're having, at least at Homeworks.shop. But even at QVC, they're finally starting to clear out some of the like older homework stuff. So. Um, I know that Christmas in July is coming up. I will get you guys information about Christmas in July as soon as I can. That's happening over on Q. There should be a lot of Christmas in July specials coming for like candle stuff. So stay tuned. Anyway, um, this was sent to me. I would have never purchased this scent because just based off of the fragrance notes, I don't think it's really up my alley. But I think it's actually quite lovely. It, remi it reminds me of the 90s for some reason. Um, I was really into sunflowers in the 90s. This is Sunflower Sunset. The notes in here are Scarlet Sunflower, Velvet Rose, Red Currant, and Midnight Jasmine. Something about this just screams like, and I don't mean this in a derogatory way, so please don't take it that way, but a lot of the perfumes that I wore in the 90s, so I was a teenager, um, came from the drugstore. And I feel like this smelled like a lot of like the kind of more generic like perfumes that came out in the 90s, but I like it. I mean, it's, I think it's a, a nice scent. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not. I will review it for you guys. I'm not quite at the halfway point yet, so I have a little bit further to go, but I will review this for you. Hopefully it'll be ready by tomorrow. I'm planning on lighting it up this afternoon. And this one, I am almost done with you guys. Look at this one. Okay, I, this is the Citrus Garden Mint. Again, I don't normally actually like mint scents, but... I feel like I'm enjoying a lot more the older I get, and this is a nice mint. I think there's much more focus on the citrus in this one, and I think that's maybe why I like it. But yeah, I've really enjoyed this. I've burned this a ton. I, this started out brand new at the start of this week, and look at it. Like, I think I maybe have one more burn left. Let's see if I can, oh yeah, that's like one more. You can see, like, that's all the wax that's left, like, just, just this little section right here. So I'll finish her up and review her for you guys. But uh, this burned like a freaking champ. Look at this. Not a single, no puny wicks, no wicks died. I know homeworks can do it, and this one had really good strength and throw. This is what the, what I think annoys most people is that it's just inconsistency, right? Like, we know they can make great candles, so just make those all the time don't don't have things being um like weak in terms of strength and throw right like this is most of us that buy these candles like we're looking for a lot of oomph and homeworks just has not given that to us so um i finished up oh i was so sad to finish this i really nursed it for a long time it's my carn day at the carnival collection funnel cake the um this might be in stock again i've i've tried not to look <laughs> but i will link homeworks.shop down below um this is like a baby of sugared beignets and hot cider donut it's wonderful and i really enjoyed this one so so good um by the way it did not come with this lid um i just thought it was a much more fun lid for this one i feel like this this is the lid that should have come with this collection but who am i to say um yeah and I finished this this week. What is this? Uh, it is a Bath and Body Works uh, berry waffle cone from 2017. That's when I picked this bad boy up. I am almost done with all of my backups of the original. Um, this is a great scent. It's one of my holy grails and um, I love it. I believe it's back for this summer and I've heard that it's good. All right, we are, ooh, I know these videos are always long. Let's power through. Um, went through some Scentsy this week. So a combination that I did that I loved is Happy Birthday, which is, sorry, Happy Birthday, which is currently available for Bring Back My Bar. Listen to me, don't, don't come at me in July being sad about the fact that you did not pick up any Happy Birthday. 
I've been talking about it forever. It was finally voted back in for Bring Back My Bar. And um, I added two more into my club. And before the month is over, I will be ordering at least two six packs to have on hand of just happy birthday. That is how much I love happy birthday. And I get my club every three months. So I will now have four bars of happy birthday every three months. I think that should be enough, especially if I purchase those six packs before the sale ends combined with our what I already have on here, like, like I'm doing my Scentsy math right now. By the way, I don't sell Scentsy, I buy it from my bestie Lisa. So if you need a consultant, she's fabulous. But you can also just find a consultant that's in your area by um, going to the main Scentsy website and typing in your zip code and then they will, I guess, populate a page with all the people that are available in your area and then just feel free to pick one and then you can maybe smell a sample of it. But anyway, I'm just warning you right now, it's gonna go away at the end of this month, and if you really want it, definitely try it. I just, I love it so much, you guys. I smell Funfetti birthday cake. Some people smell chocolate, some people smell marble cake. The chocolate and the marble cake are kind of wild to me because I don't smell that at all. I smell Funfetti cake. Um, but that being said, it's fabulous no matter what. Uh, and it's great paired with sugared strawberry. Gives you like a, it gives you like a strawberry shortcake kind of scent. It's, it's delicious. Oh, here's another happy birthday. Um, here's a watermelon patch, also currently in this Bring Back My Bar. I like this. Is it going in my club? No, but I've really enjoyed melting this one. I have a kukui and coconut, which is delightful. Um, ooh, mango shortcake from the uh, Senspirations uh, collection. Mango shortcake is yummy. Now, I have this in my club, and then I took it out. I took it out because I wanted more happy birthday I wanted happy more happy birthday than I wanted more of this scent. That being said, I'm kind of sad it's out of my club now, but I'll be fine without it because I've got happy birthday. So here's sweet stuff from um, Kringle. Um, if you uh, want a more spot on dupe for the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 fragrance, I think this is actually more spot on than this is. So um, the wax melts are still available. Uh, Kringle is currently pouring the soy formulation uh, in a lot of their old scents into the country candle jars. You may have noticed a lot of country candles showing up at your local Marshalls Home Goods. I think that's how they're getting rid of a lot of that like backup stock that they had. It's a great idea, right? Like move, move that merchandise, get it out, make room for the new stuff. I am ready for the country candle line to be exclusively soy. I love the change. Um, but that being said, I have never been a diehard paraffin fan to begin with. So if you are, um, I'm sorry, cause I know this switch over was a big bummer for a lot of people, but there are still quite a number of candle companies that are still doing the paraffin wax, Yankee Candle being one of them. So um, you do still have some options, but I do see a lot more candle companies moving away from paraffin. Um, so anyway, here's another watermelon patch. Here is, okay, so this these guys here, I was a little disappointed in these from Scentsy. I feel like coconut scents for Scentsy are kind of tough in terms of the lasting power. Normally I don't have any issues with my Scentsy giving me at least a few days of really great scent output. That being said, this Coconut Palm from Bring Back My Bar, oh, I think this was a Bring Back My Bar last year at some point, either last summer or even potentially, I don't think it was last January, but anyway, great scent, a nice kind of, it's like a musky coconut scent, but lasted a day and then it was completely dead. Also, I love the Coconuts for Coconuts, but a day, and she's done. This coconut for coconuts smells very similar to that Hawaiian Tropic um, suntan lotion, not the suntan lotion, the tanning oil. This smells very similar to that. Not spot on, but same type of like coconutty base. Oh, this is good. But yeah, it just lasts a day and then it's done. So I don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'll probably buy more. I just like that scent so much. I just want to warn you guys about the lasting power of that one. And that's it. We are almost at 30 minutes. I need to cut myself off. And quite frankly, Alf, um, 
Alf needs to finish his nap. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your afternoon. Stay tuned for the candle reviews tomorrow. Make sure that you are subscribed. Give this video a big fat thumbs up for the algorithm. And I appreciate you guys being here. It means the world to me to have you involved in my channel. And let me know what you were burning and melting in the comments down below. Have a great rest of your day. Toodaloo!